What you're watching is a student creative production that takes a look at what you can see at Chippewa Hills Middle School. Hey Warriors, welcome to the Warrior Watch Thanksgiving broadcast. I'm Mariah. And I'm Joey. Can you guess who this teacher is by their baby photo? Were you able to find out who that teacher was? Now on the bus expectations. Now we all know how to act correctly on a bus. Let's see what our warriors are thankful for. What are you thankful for? You know, that's a great question. Um, really, I'm thankful for my God, my family, my work, and the uh, Macosta County community. Thank you. And you students. Thank you. <laughs> um, my friends, family. What are you thankful for? Uh, yeah, probably like friends. What are you thankful for? Uh, my dash. What are you thankful for? Um, my friends. Thanks for sharing what you're thankful for, Warriors. Now let's see how our Veterans Day assembly went. Thank you for serving, veterans. Now let's see how our Warriors basketball games went. These are some of our 7th through 8th grade boys basketball players' thoughts halfway through the season. What's your name? MJ. What team are you on? 8th grade, 18. How's your season going so far? It's going pretty good. We definitely can do better, though. Okay. Thank you. Carter. What team are you on? Seventh grade A team. How'd your season going so far? Uh, we've won three, lost two. Thank you. What's your name? Miles Thompson. What team are you on? The seventh grade B team. How'd your season going so far? Uh, good, we've lost two games. Thank you. Nice job, Warriors. Now let's see if our Warriors can finish the lyrics. Hi, Warriors. This is the Finish the Lyrics segment. The song that we're going to have people finish the lyrics to today is California Girls. What's your name? Cameron. What grade are you in? Eighth. Finish the lyrics. California Girls. Are unforgettable. Daisy Dukes. Bikinis on top. Good job. What's your name? Jasmine. What grade are you in? Seventh. Finish the lyrics. California Girls. We're unforgettable. Daisy Dukes. I don't remember. Thank you. What's your name? Donovan. What grade are you in? Seventh. Finish the lyrics. California girls. And the level. Daisy Dukes. Games at them. At Benders and I just danced before. <laughs> What's your name? Kale. What grade are you in? Sixth. Finish the lyrics. California girls. We're unforgettable. Daisy Dukes. Bikinis on top. Good job. What's your name? Ava. What grade are you in? Fifth grade. Finish the lyrics. California girls. Are unreliable. Daisy Dukes. With bikinis on top. Good job. Did you know that song? Now let's go get to know Mr. Plum. Hey, Warriors. Welcome to the Get to Know segment. Today I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Plum. First question, 
What's one thing you're really thankful for? Uh, my family. They are the reason why I do this. Um, you know, they allow me to to coach, uh, which has always been a, a passion of mine, and so I appreciate all they do. Next question: What's your favorite hobby? Uh, fishing of any kind. I could. Uh, I, I've said to my kids a lot of times if if I could get paid to uh, fish on a daily basis, uh, that would be my dream job. Next question. What's your dream job? Well, I kind of alluded to that already. Uh, fishing in some way, but uh, being a product tester for, you know, like a fishing rod company or fishing bait company uh, where they pay me to go out and fish and test all their products. Next question. Where do you think you'd like to visit someday? That was a tough question, um, but I think, you know, Australia would be a fun place to go. Uh, it's some place that a lot of people don't go. Uh, and I also had a, a friend that I graduated from high school with. Uh, she has been living in Australia uh, for the last 25 years and she loves it, so. Final question. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? My height. I've always wanted to be taller and then when you have a son that's 6'4", it makes it even worse. Well, that's all for the Get to Know segment. Bye, Warriors. Thanks. Now I know more about Mr. Palong. Now let's go find out our Warriors' favorite Thanksgiving foods. This episode's Thanksgiving theme question is, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? What's your name? Abel. What grade are you in? Fifth. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, turkey. Thank you. What's your name? Alicia. What grade are you in? Fifth. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. Thank you. What's your name? Liam. What grade are you in? Sixth. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Probably the biscuits. Thank you. What's your name? Harper. What grade are you in? Six. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. Thank you. What's your name? Isaiah. What grade are you in? Seventh. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, turkey. Thank you. What's your name? Mana. What grade are you in? Seventh. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, turkey. Thank you. What's your name? Ben. What grade are you in? Eighth. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Stuffing. Thank you. What's your name? Ava. What grade are you in? Eighth. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Mashed taters. No, that's Thank you. Awesome. Those sound like some good foods. Now let's see some student art. some nice art. Now let's learn something new about Thanksgiving. In November 1621, after the Pilgrims' first corn harvest proved successful, Governor William Bradford organized a feast and invited a group of the colony's Native American allies. This is considered to be the first Thanksgiving. It lasted for three days. In many American households, the Thanksgiving celebration now centers around cooking and sharing a bountiful meal with family and friends. Today, nearly 90% of Americans eat turkey, whether roasted, baked, or deep fried on Thanksgiving. Other traditional foods include stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. Volunteering is a common Thanksgiving Day activity as well, and communities often hold food drives and host free dinners for the less fortunate. Thanks, now I know more about the history of Thanksgiving. Let's learn something new about our school. Thank you for
for the information on our school. Now let's go interview our food service director. Today I'm here with the food director and we're going to ask her some questions. First question, what made you want this job? Um, I have worked for Chippewa Hills in the high school cafeteria for like 27 years. Um, I enjoyed working with all the people that work for us in the kitchen. I enjoy cooking food for the students that really get excited over lunch. And um, I just thought it would be a good change for me. And maybe I could put more stuff on the menu that the kids liked. How do you choose the school lunch? Um, I kind of go by the years past or the menus and stuff. And I kind of know what the kids like more than others. And I have to go by the rules from the state and the federal government. But mostly I try to keep the kids happy and give them what they like. Can you take suggestions from students on what lunch to choose? Oh, absolutely. I would love it for the kids to put their input in. And I'll just, I'd have to tweak it a little bit to make sure that we, like I say, we, um, we are within the standards of the state and federal governments. What are some of the foods that you can't serve and why? Um, we have to be careful, like if the sodium is too high, for example, we had pretzels a few years ago, um, the sodium in them were too high, so we had to quit serving them. Um, some of like for our a la carte line, we were doing ice cream and of course we have to watch the sugar content, um, grains. We have to make sure that, you know, they're within the guidelines and they have what is needed in them, like the whole grains and it can't be white. And a lot of it is state mandated. What is your favorite part about your job? Um, I love serving the kids. Like I said, when they get excited about the food, um, I like, you know, talking to the kids as they're coming through the line. And yeah, I, I like working with all the people and all the kids. What food is the most difficult to serve? Um, their favorite tacos and mashed potato bowls because they're so time consuming and there's a lot to them to build them and to make them good. Thank you so much for your time. Now we know more about our food service director. Let's see if our warriors would rather have turkey or ham. Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Claire. And this is the Would You Rather segment Thanksgiving edition. The Would You Rather question is, Would you rather have turkey or ham? Ham. Turkey. Ham. Turkey. Turkey. Ham. Turkey. Ham. Turkey. I would rather turkey. Turkey. Ham. I know I'd rather have turkey. Me too. Now let's go learn a weather fact with Peyton. And the timing warning in effect from 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard that, Time uh, Sunday. Wednesday morning what? commute. So we are temperatures with Hello, it's Weather Wizard. Today, let's answer a question of What was the coldest temperature in Michigan history? Is A, 35 degrees? B, negative 14 degrees? C, negative 95 degrees? Or D, negative 51 degrees? If you said D, negative 51 degrees, you would be correct. It occurred on February 9th, 1934. Thanks for that weather fact, Peyton. Let's find out where our concession stand is. Hey, Warriors, on this week's segment of Can You Help Me Find, we are going to show you the concessions. Let's go. If you walk down the main hallway where the cafeteria and gym is and you turn right, you'll find the concession stands right here, and they'll normally be open at the end of, here at the, end of the day, and you get to use your Warrior coupon for a snack or a drink. Now we know where the concession stand is. Let's go over to Goofy Games. Hi, I'm Haven. And I'm Lauren. And this is Goofy Games. Today's game we're playing is What's in the Box. The box contains gummy worms with ketchup on them. Container. Oh! Is it noodles? It's like noodly. It smells really bad. It's a container with something in it. Uh, is it gummy worms? Oh, uh, um. 
It feels like gummy worms or something. It's a gummy worms and something. What is that? Gummy wear? Gummy worms? Why is it cold? Guys, my arms are too short. Ah! Stop! That's gross! Stop! No. I don't want to touch it. It feels like eyeballs! Guys, I don't like it. Feels like noodles. Uh, a bowl of uh gummy worms. That looked like a fun game. Let's meet our bus mechanic. I'm Colby, and I'm here with Randy and Vaughn, and we're going to ask them a couple questions. What do you do here at Chippewa Hills? I'm the head bus mechanic. I fix all the school buses, all the vans, um, and a few other things. I'm just the, Randy's assistant. I help where I'm needed. What time do you get here in the morning? Well, if I on my normal shift, I get here at 8 o'clock, but I usually drive school bus in the morning to help out. So I get here about six, eight o'clock. And what part of your job do you enjoy the most? I think repairing things. I like to tinker. I like fixing things. I've done it all my life, and that's what I like about it. But, yeah, just getting greasy and enjoying it. How long have you guys been working here? I've been here January five years. Four years, January. What did you guys do before this? I've done, uh, I used to work on semi-trucks and semi-trailers, so that's what I've done all my life. 33 years of saw filer. What skills have you guys learned from this job? Um, I've learned how to drive school bus. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot of knowledge from Randy just helping him. Why did you choose this profession? Oh, when I was a kid, I got into working on cars and when I was 21 years old, a friend of mine introduced me to semi-trucks, and I just got into it and loved the profession, so I stayed in it. I farm at home, so this is uh, kind of comes natural, uh, turning a wrench here and there. Do you guys know how many buses we have? 23. For these buses, since they're so big, do you guys have any special tools that... This is what we use to take the tires off with. And put them back on with it's a one inch tire gun it torques the tires down to about 600 foot pounds of torque so that's just one of the big tools we use Very big. then we have a torque wrench that we have to go by and check each lug nut onto it after we put the tires on if i demonstrated on that bus over there for me yeah Wrench is set at 560 foot pounds of torque right now. Whoa. There, did you hear it click? Yep. That's what's it set for torque. That's how tight they gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat your Wheaties. Thank you. Yep, you guys good? You're welcome. Nice meeting the both of you. Yeah, nice meeting you guys. Now that we've met our bus mechanic, let's go see who that baby was.
for our Warrior Watch Thanksgiving broadcast. Bye, Bye Warriors! Warriors.